In today's video, we're opening not one 2005 old school vintage Yu-Gi-Oh tin, but how about two? What is up, everybody? We are back with two classic old school tins. We got Xerion Universe and Vorse Raider. Vorse Raider is one of my favorites of all time. I had Vorse Raider in my deck as a kid. You can go check out the sixth grade Yu-Gi-Oh deck if you guys have not seen it. It was pretty awesome, but that's not why we're here today. Well, it is why we're here today. But part of the reason why we're here today is to open the tins. The other reason is we are revisiting a battle we've not done in a long time with casual Yugi stuff. So he hooked me up with these tins at a great price and he said, let's do a battle, dude. And I was like, let's go for it. So we're gonna be battling casual Yugi stuff. He said, best of luck, Rux. So best of luck, casual Yugi stuff, except, you know, maybe slightly less luck than us so we can win. But, uh, you know, we, we both wanna do well, right? And how about I get 10 foils, he gets nine out of 10 packs. That'd be great. He also sent us a giveaway. This one is a pretty cool giveaway here. It is a Dark Magician alternate art from the 20th anniversary Japanese. This is like the Dupo promo we got. I think it was a promo. Maybe, was it a promo? I think it was a, yeah, it was in a promo pack. But this is a QCR 20th version, not QCR, because that'd be quarter century, 20th anniversary version. A little bit easier to say QCR though. Oh, I don't know if we, we probably find an abbreviation for it, but very cool card. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below who you think will win, me or Casual Yugi Stuff. Make sure after the video, once you see what we pull, go check out Casual Yugi Stuff's video, see if he won, and you can let him know down below, you know, how close he was. Maybe he destroyed us. Maybe we destroyed him. You gotta let him know. I'll have it linked down below in the comments and the description as well. So let's get to it, guys. We have two tens to open today. Old school. I'm going to save Vorse Raider because I love Vorse Raider. Very awesome. Let's put that one to the side. Let's open up Xerion Universe first. One of six exclusive cards. This is the most debated goat card. It's like, does this count as an actual goat card? A lot of people say no at this point. I personally say no as well, but it's a very strong card. 1800, 1900. It also can get piercing on command. It's pretty cool. Uh, Dark Beginnings Inside Dark Revelation. I haven't opened 2005 in a while. Soul of the Duelist. Rise of Destiny, Flaming Attorney. So pretty cool packs inside. I also have a bunch of these available from a collection that I just bought. So if you guys want to go check out Ruxin34.com and grab a tin yourself, I have a lot of different tins. 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, maybe no, no 2008. No, we do have the Stardust tin. So we have from 2003 all the way to 2009, I think. So a lot of options over there. Okay, enough chatting. That guy who always comments about how long I chat will definitely be commenting. Here we go. Uh, let's open this thing up. Look, guys. We could get right to the opening and do Mr. Beast, you know, you know, go crazy and he's right into the opening. But guess what? That's not the kind of channel we are. I mean, let's be honest. You've watched me this long. We're not exactly a get right to it immediately kind of channel. Um, I, you know, we, there's a lot of things to talk about. You know, this is a this is a Yu-Gi-Oh community, right? So uh, I chat a little bit. So let's see what we can do. Let's see about this promo. I hope this is nice. That'd be a really cool PSA 10. Do got to get some more cards to grade at PSA. So this would be a great one. Back looks pretty good. I think it's the centering. It's pushed up a little bit. Let's see the back. There is a little scuffing right there. Man, it's pretty nice. I might send it off anyway. It'll probably get like a nine, maybe an eight because that's scuffing. Centering it depends on how bad they, they they ding it. I think it's pretty decent. All right, here we go. Let's get these five packs out. Let's open up the Exerion Universe 10. Very exciting. Let's open, I think the least exciting, re well, honestly, the retail in here is pretty good on all these packs because like you can get Horus stuff. You can get, Dekoichi is probably the least interesting of all the others because you can get Phoenix Wing Windblast here. These don't have like high rarity, but they're so cool. So I do also have our Dark Revelation box available still. We got two at one point. We did a box break, pretty cool. Um, but I have one more, so I have one more available. Uh, let's go and see what we can pull. Rise of Destiny, oh, that's a little bent. You guys see that? Oh, I hope, oh no. It's the whole pack bent and the whole pack is bent. Uh-oh, uh-oh. It's like Teletubbies out here. Wait, is that what that is? Or is that Barney? I can't remember. Creator Incarnate. Uh, let's see, just keep going. We have Element Saber. Moki Moki back. Yeah, these are these are pretty bad. They're pretty beat up. Zing Zin Hu. Hopefully it's just this pack. Harpy Girl. No, the Harpy Girl. And Ultimate Insect. We did get an Ultimate, everybody. All right, not the Ultimate we're looking for. That's fine. Um, Let's alternate. Let's go to Dark Beginning. No, no, no. Let's do Dark Revelation before Dark Beginning because Dark Beginning is older. Dark Revelation Volume 1. So we got some, uh, what's in here again? This is like, 
Is this a uh, dark crisis in MFC, except for not DMG, stuff like that? I think, I think. Uh, I don't think there's a pack trick that I know here, so let's go. This could be the card right after. Tip card number seven, Spirit Reaper is one of the best monsters to set in defensive position. Spirit Reaper is not destroyed as a result of battle, so as long as it is the only monster you control and it is in defense position, you will not take any battle damage from a normal attack. But if it's targeted by the effect of a spell, trap, or an effect monster, it is destroyed. Continue on the back. What else? This means your opponent could destroy it by using an equip spell like Buster Rancher on it. Buster Rancher? That's the one they say? That's so funny. Okay. Spirit Reaver, though. That, that aged well. That is a really good card. Acrobat Monkey. Gravekeeper Spear Soldier. We have Death's Dendal. Dark Scorpion Chick, the yellow. And XZ Tank Cannon. Okay. So that, I think, is our hit. Imbi the X-Files music just played. That is interesting. Back-to-back, -back, same card. Okay, we are over so far. Let's go to Soul the Duelist. If you guys have missed our recent Soul the Duelist poll, you should probably go watch that video. It's on the screen. Yeah, we may or may not have conquered this set, uh, but there's still a lot of cards I would like to pull. We have not pulled the level four, I don't think, so uh, that could finish out, you know, the whole set. Four from the back. That should work. We have the Dark Factory, Horse's Servant, Guardian of the Fourth Dimension. We have Element Soldier. Red Eyes Bee Chick, Skull Dog Marin, a lost dog that wandered off 1,000 years ago. He's still waiting for his master to come for him. Poor guy. Poor little doggy. Unshaven Angler, Taunt, and... Oh, Jama King. Dude, that would have been a great ulti. I would have lost it if we had gotten that. Okay, I see how it is, casual Yugi stuff. I see what you did. You resealed these tins and put all the crappy packs in there, didn't you? I know you did this. I know this happened. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding because it's a 10. That's just, normally 10s are 0 for 5. That's just what I assume. 0 for 5. If you go 1 for 5, you're happy. All right. Dark beginning one. Very cool. Still got another 10 as well. So don't, don't freak out. Still got a lot of time. Tip card number 10 out of 50. Equip spell cards. Equip spell cards can only be equipped to face up monsters. Thank you for telling us. Even if the equip spell card increases the defense of the monster like Horn of Light, you cannot equip it to a face down monster. This is probably actually really good back in the day. You're like, you don't know the rules. You're like, actually, I totally thought I could use that on my face down. Uh, you need to wait until the monsters flip face up on the field. Equip spell cards only have their effect as long as they remain face up on the field. Yep, that's a good tip card. We have Winged Dragon, Hysteric Fairy, Big Eye, Minar. Rocks and special. We have Penguin Knight, Dark Soldier, King of the Abyss, or not, not Dark Soldier, Dark King, Jar of Greed. Good card, but unfortunately just a rare. Force Requisition, Time Seal, Toon Whirl, Horde of Light, and Lightning Blade. Those are some classics in DB1. Okay, one more pack from the first 10. Guess what, guys? Uh, I'm not feeling too good about this battle right now. I'm just saying, we haven't done a pack battle in a while, and we are returning to uh, the ways that we have always done, which is really terrible. We never do good in pack battles. One, two, three, four. Can we get a Phoenix Wing Wind Blast ulti? That'd be pretty big. Release Restraint with Mega Dog Marin. Space Mambo, Threatening Roar, Mystic, or not Mystic, Flame Ruler, not Mystic Swordsman. Insect Knight, we have Good Goblin Housekeeping. Centrifugal Field, I thought that was the last card. Big Tusk Mammoth. I have pulled this in the first every pack opening ever. Speaking of every pack opening, make sure you subscribe because we're opening every pack ever made at 250,000 subscribers. We're like eight point something K away. Very close. Uh, we pulled this in the very first one that we ever did back in 2020, I believe. So yeah, we have experience with the Big Tusk Mammoth. He's pretty, pretty epic. All right. Next 10. Let's see if we can get better luck. <sighs> Hopefully you guys are enjoying the old school opening. Make sure you guys go check out Casual Yugi Stuff's video. I mean, at this point, you might just default to knowing you won, but honestly... He could go over as well. Like, that's how these tins work. It happens a lot. Let's see if this Vorsch Raider tin is going to be nice. Or tin promo, I should say. Um, let's see. Let's see, see, see. I'm trying not to damage the card, but this thing is really not wanting to open. So it's like tight on there. Okay, there we go. I just threw the card, but I think it's fine. It landed okay. All right, that one was really on there. Okay, promo card. Let's look at the back. Is it bent? Uh-oh. I think it has a bend to it. I don't think it was from what I just did. Yeah, that, that seems like something else, but that is definitely a bin. This is one I'd send, uh, wait, let me look at it again. Yeah, I'd send a PSA thing, it's like a 10, and it gets like a six. That's the one, that's what you get, like those really light bins like that. But it's a bend in the card, so it, it significantly docks the grade, which is definitely fair, I think, in my opinion. I just said fair, I think, in my opinion. That's the same thing, twice. Uh, that's what we call redundant, okay? All right, let's pull these out. All right, empty tins. Now we have all the packs out. So far, we are kind of getting our butt kicked. I'm not going to lie. Bent promo, not really bent. It's a strong word, but slight bend. There, there's a bend in the promo. It doesn't sound as bad. Uh, bent just sounds really bad. We have not pulled a foil yet. So we are looking for something better out of this Rise of Destiny pack. 
Look, I've used a lot of Rise of Destiny cards in Wheeled Goat recently because we've been doing a lot of Wheeled Goat. I think we're on episode eight this week or nine, depending on when you guys see this. Uh, it's been super fun. I'm getting hopefully a little better uh, as I play because, you know, I'm playing a lot of people that are better than me. But Mirage Dragon is a really good card in Goat. I mean, if you get this thing down or the uh, Pitch Dark Werewolf or Pitch Black Werewolf, that those things are so annoying. Can't activate traps in the battle phase. Zing Zin. We have Rock. And Flint, okay, another rare. Uh, but if you guys have not seen that series yet, I have a playlist. I've been doing a lot of playlists. We have a Mesia playlist, which people ask for. They're like, why don't we have a Mesia playlist? I'm like, we do. Go to the playlist. There's a Mesia playlist. Like, search for the Mesia. There's also a playlist for Wheeled Goat. So if you guys want to see all the episodes, which I know some of them are more popular than others, so you might have missed some, go check those out, guys. Go give yourself a chance. Enjoy dueling in Yu-Gi-Oh. It is, it's really fun. I'm not going to lie. It's some of the most fun I've had creating content, just like doing the streams for it on Mondays. That's that's Master Duel Mondays on Twitch. Go follow me on Twitch if you haven't already. Master Duel Mondays, I'll duel you. We can do some testing with my new deck for the next episode. Uh, that's what we do every week on Monday. It's very exciting. Physical double, hidden book of spell, and sometimes I even get, ooh, there we go. That's our first foil, ultra rare. Double spell, I'll take it. I'm happy. Our first foil has been acquired. That's an ultra rare, beautiful. Not a crazy money card. It's probably going to pop up as like two bucks, but still, I'll take an old school ultra rare any day of the week, especially when we were over six before that. Okay, what did I do next? I think I did Soul the Duelist. But as I was saying, the Twitch stream, uh, I even let you guys, you know, add stuff to the wheel. We did that the other the other day. I and mean, sometimes that's YouTube comments plus Twitch, Twitch chats. So if you want to be there live and contribute to the series, it'd be great. One, two, three, four. Let's get an ultimate rare. Come on, that could really turn this around. Rage Mooka Mooka. We've got Goblin Calligrapher, a goblin who devotes himself to mastering perfect calligraphy of the world of the word false. He gives his all to each stroke. Okay. Okay. Um, pause. Pause on that one. We have Horus Servant. We have a uh, level up. Dark Mimic level one. Pretty good card for Goat. Howling Insect, I don't know why you wouldn't use level 3, but that works kind of the same. Howling Insect turned out to be a great card later. Ninjutsu Art of Decoy and... Mind on air, believe it or not, my mind is on air. Two packs left. Dark Beginning 1. Casual Yugi stuff. He's got to beat one Ultra Rare right now. I think he's doing okay. I think he's doing okay. Let's see if we can get a couple of... Four. Maybe get like an Ultra here and then an Ultimate Rare. That would really... That'd be really good. Monster Tokens. I'm not going to read this all one because that's kind of long. Giant Rat. Okay, great card. Giant Rat. I've been using it in Goat a lot. It's pretty good. But it's a rare. We have Nubia. We have Sonic Bro. Let's see if we can get a good common, maybe. Milk of the Four Face Beast. Amazon Archer. We have Dragon Capture Jar for that Blue Eyes White Dragon. Grave Robber. I've used that. Used that uh, in, a, in a series. It's pretty funny. Toon World and Horn of Light. Hey, Horn of Light was mentioned in another card earlier. Last pack of the day. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this old school tin opening vintage. If you guys want a tin for yourself, whether to open up on my channel, whether to keep sealed, go check out ruxin34.com. I have a lot of items available over there that can support that. Not can support. It does support the channel if you guys go check out the website. And of course, you get an awesome old school product or new school product, depending on what it is. I've got some new stuff available as well. A lot of items over there on Ruxin34.com. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Last pack magic. <sighs> Send us your luck because we're going to need it to be casual Yugi stuff at this point. We have Element Doom. Golem Sentry. Okay, that's a cool um, Pac-Man card. Dynamite, we have Hand of Nephthys. Ruxin Special. Arm Samurai Benkai. The OTK. Insect Knight. <gasps> The unmatched battle prowess. You got to watch out. Put them under the contract. Maju Gaia Panda, last card. If you guys have enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe and check out Casual Yugi Stuff's video right after this. Here we go. Four ceasefire. All right, all right. Not the best luck with those tins today, but we at least got a foil, so I'll take that. Don't forget to go check out the other half of the battle and let us know who won. If I won, then something went seriously wrong in his video. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Brandon Chaney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F. Changlang, and Aldelsa Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.